Alrighty, what is popping? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to connect the PS5 controller or the DualSense 5 controller with the Yuzu emulator. Now, before we get started this video, please make sure you guys destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm if you guys want to see more videos like this in the near future. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So first things first, I'll leave in the description down below to this GitHub page. Now this GitHub page is the latest version of DS, DS4 Windows, which is makes it um, your PS5 controller capable with the Yuzu emulator. Now, when you get here, basically gonna download the, the zip file. Wait for that to finish up real quick. And now when that finishes up, you're basically gonna minimize this, drag in to your desktop. And then when you get here, you're gonna left click, extract it. Wait for it to be extract. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna drag it to the right where it's more visible to my eyes. Open this up, DSL for Windows. Now, I'm gonna connect my PS5 controller to my PC. It's gonna be my first time connecting it while I'm recording it. When it's first set up, you see it has this. And then we go to, first things first, you might need to use DSL4 updater due to the fact if this is your first time connecting it. Since this is not my first time connecting, I'm just use DS, DS4 Windows. Now we're gonna make it go to the program folder. I'm gonna skip this for now. In hindsight, it's, it's smart to use this, but I'm just gonna skip it. Now, since I have done this before, it automatically connects to it. But if this is your first time using this app or application, you're gonna need to activate it through right here. As you see the stop button, there's gonna be a different, but I believe it's something where it says activate. But since it's not my first time using it, I'm gonna see the stop button. So it's be like something like this. And then you see the start button and it connects. You see, as you see, it's connected with my DualSense 5 controller, as you see right now. Now, in hindsight, if you guys have Windows 10, you can skip this process. But if you have something like Windows 7 or Windows 8, this process, 90 to 95%, this process is going to be for you. So, yeah, and after you have that all set it up and dandy, I'm going to the Yuzu emulator one of the earlier builds. I believe, I don't know which build it works with. I believe is 1059 and up. I tried it with, I haven't tried it with any lower builds, but I'm pretty sure it may work with older builds. Cause if it works with 1059, it should work with a little bit ones, much more lower. And now when you get here, let's configure Go to controls, and then under that, it's gonna be, I believe, I'm gonna use the second one. Input. It's gonna be pro controller, and then as I set it up, like say for example, I'm gonna go right here. B will be X, so you see, it sets. And the A will be circle, it sets. And then Y will be square. It says right there. And square will be right here. So on and so forth. You see the sticks be up. Left. And as we go right there, it'll be right down. And then L trigger 
but you guys get the gist of it. That's how you basically set it up. It automatically reads it if you're on Windows 10, but I believe you're on Windows 7 or 8 or any um, versions of Windows that's lower than 10, you're gonna need the DS, the DS S4 Windows to set this up. And then when you're basically done with this, just press save. And you basically press okay. And whatever game you wanna play on the Yuzu emulator, you should be basically good to go. So yeah, that's basically about it for this video. Um, Really simple process if you're on Windows 10, if you're on like some like anything, like I said before, anything lower than Windows 10. This process of doing with the DSL 4 Windows is very important to follow that step. So yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new. And yeah guys, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.